Well good morning, here we are in Burley and Wharfdale and today we've got a rather dirty block paved drive to clean up. Now I first attended this job three weeks ago and I put down some weed killer because it was a bit overgrown in places. Most of the weeds have died off and it's now ready for pressure washing. Now most of the surface is pretty dirty, there's a lot of moss and quite a lot of organic staining such as black lichen. In addition to that there's some quite wide gaps between the sets and one or two of the blocks are actually loose and wobbly. And there's lots more moss and dirt in this shady corner by the garage. So there's a lot to do. Let's get started. So I'm going to be using the turbo lance most of today. Uh, there are going to be lots of weeds in there which need extracting and I'm expecting there will be a lot of dormant seeds in the sand as well. I'm just pausing here to have a look at the drainage. This gully doesn't appear to be draining. If I'm not careful, the water's gonna pool here and probably go into the garage. Absolutely full of mud and silt. Well, there's a lot of dirt there come out of the gully. Uh, I need to find somewhere to tip this. And I noticed there was a large bush by the hedge, so we'll stick it under there. Often these gullies don't lead to a drain and they just go to a soak away and I think that's the case here. I can get my fingers into the opening of the pipe but it feels like it's blocked up as well. So what I'm going to do is just stick a drain jet down the pipe and see if it's actually blocked further down. So this is the same kind of equipment that a proper drain jetting company would have. There's a lot of silt come out of there, a hell of a lot. That's all just blown out of the pipe. Right, that's the main clean dealt with. Time to rinse it down and see what we're left with. That's a dirty job as you can probably see from my mug shot here. Uh, but anyway, it's come up really well. Pressure washing is very effective at removing surface grime, but it can't always get into those organic stains. So all of these black splodges that we've got are actually black lichens. Lichens can form anywhere, but they're particularly happy in these dark shady areas, especially if it's a little bit damp as well. Now, even with aggressive pressure washing, it's very difficult to shift these, but we can dissolve them away with a deep clean alkaline foam. So that's the next process I'm gonna put into play. Thank you. 
Right, well that's the uh, X-Jet finished with, putting down the chemical treatment. I'm going to leave that on the surface for about half an hour, during which time it will dissolve those stains away. It's quite warm today, so it's likely to evaporate off a little bit, so I'll probably come back and mist it down with some water, just to keep that process going a bit longer. The shady area down here and one or two other patches are pretty infested. So I've just spot treated them with a more concentrated solution, very simply with a bucket and a brush. Just getting ready for a final rinse down now. Before we do, a quick look at this uh, area that was infested with the black lichen and it's all completely sorted out now. Hardly any trace of it in fact. Right, it's a bright sunny day, let's get this sanded and finished off. Right, we're all finished. Really nice job to work on. I'm really pleased with the outcome. The homeowner is too. So much so, she's asked me to do the back garden too. It's a bit of a monster. As a matter of fact, it's so big, I might even need to buy some more high pressure hose. Let's take a look.